Hey everybody, it's Liz and I am here today with a project for Saw Crafters Shop on Zibit. And yes, it's another Halloween project. <laughs> I can't help myself, you guys. I've got two weeks left, so I'm going to do as many as I can. But um, as you can see, it's big, so I'm going to have probably a little bit of a hard time showing you the whole thing. But oh my gosh, I love, love the way it came out. Let me zoom so you can see. I mean, let me go up so you guys can see the whole thing. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Um, basically what it is, it's just I made a card and this really cool witch's hat box that I'm going to use to store candy. And I just think it came out so, so cute. But anyways, I'm going to start off with the card since it's, you know, simple and easier to cover. But uh, here's my co coordinating card, and as you can already tell, I use the beautiful Happy Haunting Papers by Graphic 45. I just love this collection, you guys. I've got a few sheets left, and I decided to use it for these projects. I thought it would go really, really well. So I started off with a black cardstock, and it is five and a quarter inches wide by six inches tall. And I just basically used um, the a piece of the pattern paper that I cut down just a little bit smaller than the cardstock, and I adhered it down here with some score tape, which I'm loving. And then what I did, um, I added these little photo corners, and these are from a different collection. I think it was like a Teresa Collins collection. It's an old one, but the black just you know went well with the um, papers I was using. And I did that on all four corners. And then I just love the sweet little image of this little witch with the black cat. So cute from the Graphic 45 papers. And I just took my Spellbinders die, my circle die, and I cut that out out of the pattern paper just to fit the image right in the middle. And then, of course, I've got another cardstock circle here. I've got another one with the pattern paper. Then I have another one. This is the Spellbinders um, lacy circles, I believe. And I just used that with the pattern paper. And the whole thing is pretty dimensional. There's foam tape between each of the paper layers. So it's basically just like a little, um, like a ribbon, you know, because here you can have, you have a little fishtail. And with the cardstock, it's just a pattern paper on top of the cardstock. And then I've got some crinkled up seam binding in black that I created a little bow here. And then for the center of the bow, this is actually a little sticker. It's by Jolie, um, Jolie's. And, you know, you can get it at Michael's, Joann's, and it's a really cute little pumpkin, and it's got, like, some little flourishes. I just love the way that that looks, so I knew I was going to add it to uh, the center of my bow, and it came out really cute. And now the uh, products that I used from Thought Shop were basically the small little flowers. I have, I used big flowers. These are for my stash, but all the little blooms, I don't have a lot of these, so I got some from Saw. And these were part of my design team package. And, of course, I've got these orange ones that are so sweet and pretty. And then these little itty-bitty black ones. Look how tiny they are. And I just tucked in a few throughout the cluster. And, of course, I added just a little bit of gesso on the top so that they can stand out a little bit more because, you know, it's a lot of black going on. This big one, like I said, is for my stash. And I used Tornado... Um, Toto's Tornado Black, I think, Lindy Stamp Gang to color it black, and then I used gesso on top of that, and then some stickles, some silver stickles. So it's a little bit shimmery, and then the white ones are for my stash, and those were just, you know, white already, but I used stickles on them and a little bit of gesso, and then here's some more of those little orange blooms from Saw Shop, and then the little black ones, look how cute they are. And then up here, this is basically a sticker from the Happy Haunting collection. I backed it onto some cardstock, or actually a piece of pattern paper, and I cut it out. And then I've got a little piece of foam back here so I could kind of stand up. And I just have it tucked in behind um, all the flowers. So it was, really, it was a really, really simple card. It didn't take me very long to make, but I wanted a card to go with my hat box in case I decide to give the hat box as a gift. Or, you know, I can use the card to give it as a gift. It's probably going to go to uh, Kayla's teacher or something. But it came out really cute, right? Really cute. The inside, again, is quite simple. I just took a piece of pattern paper, cut it down to size, another pleat piece of black cardstock, and on top of that, a white cardstock piece. And then I took one of my stamps, spider webs, and added them to the corners. So there's a big, you know, space for Kayla to write a message for her teacher. Really cute. I love the way it came out. I think it's really cute, and I just love those little blooms from Saw's shop. I think they add just the perfect touch to the cluster. I think it came out really cute, you guys. 
And then, yes, all my edges are inked with black slit in case I didn't mention it. <laughs> but anyways, that's my little vintage card. Love it. And now let me show you the big one here, the big project. Like I said, it's a witch's hat on top of a hat box. And these are all paper mache. The witch's hat and the hat box are all paper mache, and I got it at Michael's. And the hat is um, attached to the top of the, um, the lid on the box, so it's all one piece. Okay? And again, I use the Graphic 45 Happy Haunting Collection, which I love. And let me just kind of show you an overview of the whole thing so you can see. Now, this uh, paper mache hat box is quite big. I believe it's eight inches. Um, uh, yeah, eight inches. And uh, of course, you're not going to have enough paper, you know, so I had to use several sheets of paper. And I don't like seams, so I had to, you know, cover the seams as best as I could. I did use um, a bit of the curtain call, like this black polka dot is curtain call, simply because I only had a few sheets of Happy Haunting, and I knew it was going to be way too much. So this is the way, this is what I did to cover the seams. I took like a strip from the uh, Happy Haunting, and I added it on each of the seams. So there's one on this side, and then I think you saw the other side as well. It's just like a little strip to cover the seams where the papers line up. I just don't like the way the seams look. The bottom is covered with the Happy Haunting paper. All the edges are inked with the black soot. And then the top of it, or you know, the rim of the lid, is also lined with paper from the Happy Haunting collection. And then, in this case, I wasn't able to cover the seams up, but I don't think they're as noticeable, so I don't mind it as much. And it looks really cool. For the front, I took this really cool spider web. It's like a border piece. And it was from Recollections from a few years back, and I have it in my stash. And I just thought it went really well on the front of the box, so I adhered it on there. And then I created these labels out of the Spellbinders, um, I want to say Labels 13, but I'm not 100% sure, you guys, so don't quote me on that. <laughs> but I just took a piece of pattern paper, and I used it to cut the larger label. And then this is just a very light yellow piece of cardstock. And what I did to the, uh, the edges of it, I inked it uh, with black soot, of course, and then I stamped uh, some cracks on it. I've got this really cool, almost like a marble type stamp that, you know, creates these cracks. So I just stamped it, you know, randomly all over. And then for the title, it says Candy. And these are all just stickers from the Happy Haunting Collection. And you guys, if you are familiar with the collection, you know that it's an alpha sticker, but it's like a pumpkin. So I just cut out the alpha from the pumpkin so that it would fit nicely into um, the label. And uh, that's pretty much it. Really cool, really simple. This is where I'm going to keep all my candy that I steal from the kids after they go trick-or-treating. <laughs> Which you guys know you do too. <laughs> we say we're going to go through their bag and make sure there's no unopened candy, but we really take a few. <laughs> and that's where it's going to go. And it's going to be in my room, and that's where I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on. The uh, hat itself is basically just painted black, you guys. I just used some black acrylic paint on the entire hat. Um, I knew it wasn't going to be completely covered with paper, so there was no need to, you know, uh, Mod Podge any paper on it. So a lot of it is just painted black. And what I did is I just took strips. Let me put this. It's a little bit hard to show. Like I said, it's big. But what I did is I just made, like, these strips um, of uh, pattern paper pieces. I just cut them out. I think they're about two inches. And then you just cut them, you know, like long triangular shapes. And I adhered it to the hat, you know. And I wanted some of the black to come through. So as you can see, it's alternating. So it's basically a piece of pattern paper, some black, piece of pattern paper, and black, and so forth. So it goes all the way around. On the bottom of the hat, I used this really cool trim from Hobby Lobby. It's really, it's like a chiffon trim. It's roughly, it's really pretty. And I just basically put that all around the hat. And on top of that, I added this big bling trim. Look how cool that looks. And this trim I found, it's similar to, you know, that smaller bling trim, but this is a bigger piece. And I found it at, you know, just one of the local stores out here. And I just adhered that with some hot glue all around the hat, uh, the bottom of the hat. And then I used lots of creepy cloth for my, you know, just on the bottom. 
you guys could see all that creepy cloth. And then all around the rim of the hat, I used Tim Holtz tinsel twine in black. And look how cool it looks, right? I love the shimmer, and I love the vintage feel of the tinsel twine. I think it just added a really great touch to my vintage witch's hat. Now I'm going to go take you to the front again so I can cover everything that I used. And basically I used uh, chipboard pieces from Sauce Shop. All the beautiful Halloween pieces that she's got in her store were just so perfect for my project. And um, I started, that was basically the focus of it, is the this, this spider webs here. These are two chipboard pieces and I knew I was going to use them in the background and I wanted um, them to look really cool to stand out so that's why they're a different color than everything else. There's a lot of black going on but they really stand out because I made them silver. And what I did to them, I gave them a nice coat of acrylic paint and silver and then after that I used um, uh, crackle accents on them. Now it's going to be really hard to see the crackles but you can see them I think. In person you can. And then on top of that I used stickles. I just really wanted a lot of uh, different, uh, I guess like texture on it or different elements. I didn't want them to look so simple and plain. And then once all that dried up, I gave them a nice coat of uh, black ink. I just took my foam um, sponge and I dabbed it in, you know, rounded areas on the spider webs. They look really cool in person. Awesome. See how they're glossy? Very cool. And the same thing on this one, big one. And I love the size of them. They're really good size and they're just so perfect. And then of course I use the spider web, uh, the spiders from her um, store as well. And the spiders are so creepy looking and cool. Look at them. And of course, it would look awesome painted black, but I think I had so much black, I wanted the spiders to stand out, so I inked them with vintage photo instead. So instead of a black widow, I've got a brown recluse. <laughs> so just inked with vintage photo, and then I dabbed black soot on top of that as well. I didn't want it to be all one color. And then I used Dimensional Magic over them to make them nice and glossy. So look how glossy they look. So I've got a spider there on the spider web, and I've got another one over here hiding. So he's right there. And then what I did, I used uh, one of the pieces. This is a really cute image from the Happy Haunting collection. I just cut it out and I inked it with black soot, and I have it kind of leaning against the tip of the hat, or you know, the, the cone-shaped part of the hat. And it's so it's you know. Um, it's got the spider webs to support it to keep it in place. And I just put a little bit of hot glue right here, a little bit down at the bottom to hold it in place. It's really cute. I just love the little witch and all the little pumpkins and the little bats. And it's really, really cute. So I've got that there. And then I have uh, this really cute little broom. And this is a cute broom I picked up at Hobby Lobby. And of course, going with the witch theme, I knew it would be perfect. And so I just have the little broom there. I've got a couple of pumpkins here that were part of a pick, you know, this little Michael's pick. I just took it apart. This one I actually got a Tuesday morning last year. It was like a little bag of white pumpkins for 29 cents, you guys. It was way after Halloween and it was on clearance, so I lucked out. But this, this is a little white pumpkin and then this one's from a pick. Really, really cute. And then I've got some flowers. These are some beautiful Halloween daisies that I also picked up at Michael's. And they're from, you know, a pick as well. I just cut them apart. And they've got glitter in the middle. Very cute. So I tuck one in there. And then I have some in the back of the spider webs. See? So there's another one back here. Very cool. And then there's going to be another one on this side. Now, I was basically focusing on the front of the hat box. But when I turned it around, I realized it looked too plain in the back. So I knew I wanted to add something back there as well. And what I did is I just took, you know, the Tim Holtz Gothic Boo. I cut it out of chipboard. And then I cut it out of the pattern papers. I adhered the pattern paper to the chipboard. I inked it up with, vin uh, vin not vintage photo, but black soot. And it just says Boo, and it looks really cool. And I love the little curve on it right here. And I thought it would be really cute to have like a little pumpkin. So basically the little pumpkin is holding it up, you know, and it fits perfectly on this little curve of the, um, the boo. So hopefully you guys can see it better. Really cute. And this little pumpkin is also a pick from Michael's and it's all glittered up and it's got like a little black spider web on it. So I just kind of made it, uh, stick, stick to this little stick right here sticking out and I've got some hot glue under here so it stands perfectly. 
really cool. So that way the back isn't so, you know, boring. <laughs> really, really cute. And then what I really love are these really cool chipboard witches that Saw has in her store. And of course, what is a witch's hat without the witch, right? I'll show you real quick. Let me bring this. Look how cool she looks. And it's basically two pieces because uh, what I did, I wanted her to look like she's flying, so it's really cool. I've got her on this wire, and the wire is just uh, some electrical tape. Or not electrical tape, but elect electrical wire. You can pick this up at Hobby Lobby. I mean, not Hobby Lobby. Um, Home Depot or Lowe's. I picked it up. Hubby's Garage. <laughs> and I like it because it's very flexible, as you can see, the way that I twisted it. But it's also nice and sturdy because when I did, uh, I used two chipboard pieces and I didn't want it to weigh down. I didn't want it to start, you know, falling over. And see, she can move. So it's really cool. I love working with that wire. And I had lost it. It was upstairs. My daughter took it and I forgot all about it. And, uh, so I've got the two chipboard pieces wedged, the wire is wedged in between the two chipboard pieces. I took some black acrylic paint, I painted the entire front and back in black, of course, and then I used this awesome, awesome glitter by Martha Stewart. I love this glitter because it's so fine and it sticks so well, like it doesn't rub off like other glitter, you know, like if you touch it, it's not going to just come off on your fingers. And what I did is I just Mod Podge the chipboard piece once it was painted and I sprinkled the glitter on top and let it dry really, really good. So she looks really cool just flying above the whole little scene, you know, and she looks awesome. I love this witch. And let me show you the back so you can see how, see there's two pieces. So the wire is just right there in the middle. And then that, there she is from the back, right? So she's just kind of flying off. It looks really cool. I love my hat box. I think it came out really, really awesome. Love it. And the inside, guys, is real simple. I'm going to open it to show you real quick. But see, basically what you're going to do is you're just going to open it here. Like I said, the witch's hat is attached to the lid of the box. So it comes off real easily. And the inside, I just painted it all black. I kept it simple. Like I said, this is where I'm going to keep my stash. <laughs> my candy stash. So it's just painted black on the inside. And just paper mache, real easy to to paint and stuff and I didn't have a whole lot of the happy haunting paper so it was um it worked out so there we go and I just love the way that it came out and I think the chipboard pieces from Saw Shop just really really add that great touch you know the papers themselves are beautiful but of course you can't have just papers without gorgeous embellishments and you can still get these pieces from Saw's shop. Halloween is only two weeks away, but plenty of time to still create some amazing Halloween projects. I had so much fun creating this, you guys. You guys know I love Halloween, and I'm having such a blast. Such a blast. Fun time creating this year. I'm trying to make as many projects as I possibly can before it's over. So that is my witch's hat box, and this is the card that I created as well. I hope you guys like them, and if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. You guys know I always try to get back to you, so I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and leaving me sweet comments. I always appreciate your comments, and I read each and every single one, believe me. So go check out Saw's shop and get your hands on these awesome chipboard pieces. She's got a lot of great, great things in her store right now. And if you guys subscribe to her channel, you can see that she's always making new products, always having them in her shop, readily available. And her prices are unbeatable. I'm going to put the link below to her shop so you guys can go take a look. And you guys have an awesome, awesome week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all real soon. Bye-bye.